Welcome to the OT Cyberbytes podcast with uh, Leo Frankel, CEO and founder at Waterfall Security. How are you, Leo? I'm all good, Ben. How are you doing? Very well. How have, uh, how have you been? What have you been up to? Oh, these are uh, on the Waterfall uh, Security front. These are uh, exciting times. We've just announced our new new product, new technology called Hera Hardware Enforced Remote Access a specialized remote access solution for uh, OT environments. Um, so that's that's exciting. Uh, you know, a few uh, months ago, maybe 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 six plus, we launched our new version of our flagship technology, the unidirectional gateway. This is the uh, Waterfall 600 version, yeah. all new hardware, all new software, you know, redesign, rebuild, took everything that was great in the previous version, added a lot of goodness to it uh, from our experience, from customers' requirements and all of that, and uh, uh, you know, built it to, to fit the new needs of, of the uh, now maturing market. Uh, so it's, uh, it's all excited, getting, getting great feedback, you know, great from our customers, from new prospects. So Brilliant! Can't, can't complain. Excellent. Well, look, you, you dive straight in. I didn't even have to. Uh, didn't even have to get us in there. So thank you. One thing. One thing we always do on this podcast is is really take it back. What I want to listen and hear from you is what kind of gave you the idea of Waterfall. How did it come about? You, you mentioned to me before that the business has been going for many years now. What What gave you those founding ideas? Yeah. Well, you know, when when I started Waterfall. Uh, back in the days, uh, it was way before there was a real need, a real market, a demand. Um, and the the reason the reason I found waterfall is because, um, you know, it was so easy, and, and by the way, it still is so easy to to penetrate through perimeter security of. OT facility of OT environments, uh, all of those are are critical, and and you know, in, in ways dangerous facilities. These can be uh, um, networks that controls turbines of power plants. It can be networks that controls activities in airplane in air, airports. Sorry and. And railways and and subways and and uh, th- through their signaling system and etc. So, you know, it, it 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 was just way too easy to get in th- through all of the uh, uh, existing, in in a way, IT based security technologies. And and I said, hey, this this is a this is a good big problem to dive in and and find a solution. Um, you know, started started small in Israel. I'm based out of Israel. Yeah, you know, started selling in the U.S. and expanded globally since. Um, today we are supporting all of the critical infrastructure verticals and and segments in ac- across the globe. Um. Uh, you know, having a meaningful impact on national cybersecurity and resilience of multiple countries in the world, um, making me very proud of what we managed to achieve so far. Amazing. And like you mentioned a few things there where you mentioned it was way too easy. And what did, did you genuinely sit down there one day and come up with the idea? Or have you had a background in the past where in cyber or, or Israeli defense and that type of thing? So so, so previous company uh, that, that, that I founded and, and uh, um, co-founded back 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 in the days and 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 was a co-CEO of um, and, and since then we've 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 sold the company and and moved forward with it. Um, It was an offensive cybersecurity company in general servicing uh, the Israeli uh, intelligence community and and its its, uh, natural allies. And and through that, we, you know, 
we we had uh, let's say uh, a real life experience in how easy it is to circumvent and and penetrate through through these uh, security uh, measures that were used to defend and protect you know our critical infrastructure and yours and you know all of the free world's uh, 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 facilities cool brilliant and I think there's been monumental changes in OT. You, for one, like you say, have been in the industry for many years. Yeah. Whereabouts did you start off, and 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 today, whereabouts would you say you are? Yeah. So, so there's there, there's been a a um, you know huge change and evolution in the market. When when we started, there was no market. Okay. I yeah. mean, the term industrial cybersecurity wasn't a term ot wasn't a term uh there were almost zero regulations that even mentioned you know control networks uh, or 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 asked them to be treated in a, in a, in a in a way that that's suitable to protect them um th- you know there were no customers i mean there were customers but there was no market mm-hmm. yeah no we didn't have events surrounding ot security websites you know uh uh, um, uh publications nothing it was it was just not that we when when we started I, I think we were a handful of companies globally uh, uh trying to 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 find those crazy customers that would you know uh uh g- give us uh, uh, uh the time of the day and a coffee to meet them so since then, a because the 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 market itself, not the OT industrial security market, but the industrial market by itself has evolved dramatically, and today it's based and using much more, tons more of uh, 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 computerized systems, connectivity. Uh, open protocols, uh, um, you know, in inter interconnectivity between systems and networks, which wasn't the case at the beginning. Um, the second thing is that uh, attacks has started to be focused on OT, and when I'm when I'm saying attacks, I'm I'm talking mainly about ransomware. Right. Of course, there were others and are others, but when when the market feels and until a few years ago it was it was actually the case when the market feels that the threat is uh, um, a nation state backed attack or you know like the, those that will try to attack me I'm a whatever water system in in Idaho just just saying mm-hmm. um if that's a, a a rival country so in a way it's not my problem okay you know you have the country to defend you against other countries you know in the us so so you have the the you, you know you have you have the federal government to do that usually private sector citizens you know they are not tasked, equipped, or required to defend themselves against, you know, acts of war. Um, yeah. when, when the market started to, to move towards big-time ransomware, and then a derivative of that ransomware started to focus on OT, just because it's easy and it's profitable, Yeah. then the market has become a market. Okay, customers are saying, okay, we understand that this risk. Okay, this is a criminal risk. These guys are trying to steal our money. We understand that. You know, it's a legitimate threat in a sense. And, you know, they, they want to go and fix it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, the, the third pillar that that is is working to to build the market is regulations. That as all regulations are follow uh, uh, the reality okay there's almost never a regulation that say you know this will happen so th- but but now that there are risks at those levels 
uh, regulators and guidelines and 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 uh, etc are pushing very strongly towards stronger security for OT adequate security for OT security that that sustains safety which is you know probably focused on OT and and special for OT and not not relevant for other environments um and all of these together created a market that now is going and growing uh and expanding both both in size and in types of customers and and sectors that that are you know seeking and buying technologies uh, to protect their their control networks brilliant and you mentioned the uh sectors new sectors new verticals i know waterfall started off many years ago very traditional nuclear power plants going down the industrial route what type of verticals or or sectors are you now sort of selling into or who are your new customers yeah when when we started really in the be- in, in the beginning uh, uh we focused on you know the big power the big power gen companies and especially nuclear just because we said you know that will provide us with really good reputation i mean being able to sell to these types of customers is is a really good you know good thing for a company it means that the company is good it means that the solution is good i mean these guys they vet everything upside down twice yeah uh, so we started there been very successful and then have expanded to you know conventional power gen to oil and gas may- mainly upstream and midstream yeah um, big time water and wastewater systems it's a very big vertical for waterfall and and expanded to to practically everything which is under industrial uh, um critical infrastructure um in the recent years because the market as i said because the market has has grown and expanded and and matured uh we've expanded to to new verticals that were in our perspective back in the days uh like out of scope so we we are selling to to data centers today we're selling to casinos we're selling to big um campuses and big uh, high rises for for you know as as part of their building management system security um and 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 so on and so forth so it's 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 very exciting i mean every every year we have new types of customers and and new types of of uh challenges how to penetrate these new markets uh and and the the, the good thing is the the very uh, uh um like a thing that 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 keeps us going is first of all our our basic concept of how to secure these these facilities works in in an efficient almost ultimate way for all of these verticals and the fact that <clears throat> excuse me we are really successful i mean we're getting getting into new vertical understanding it we invest a lot in thought leadership yeah and in uh, and really understanding the pain points the day-to-day job of our customers we have people that are experts in power gen experts in water systems you know experts in railways so we can although it's it's the same security concept but we can get in a customer and talk to them in their language uh, uh be able to provide them with the exact solution that they need for their exact needs and and this investment you know has a really good return brilliant and one thing i i want to question you could probably talk about this all day but if if possible try and summarize it quite quite well but how big is the threat if we don't as individuals act if if these big companies don't act on this ot threat in, in your words how, how big is it oh it's uh, as big as your nightmares can take you i will <laughs> I, I mean, look. Let, let's just take uh, the colonial uh, uh, pipeline attack a couple of years ago. Yeah, 
you know, that was um, a regular ransomware attack on their enterprise network, not not even like an OT attack on the on their production okay. <laughs> control networks. But because they weren't sure, I mean, th- this is all public information. I'm not because they weren't sure that that the malware or the the, the, the attackers got into their control network that controls the pipeline. It, it became a safety concern, and they had to shut down their operation for almost a week. Wow, uh, you know, uh, um, resulting in people not having gas for their cars in in the west side of of the U.S. So, and that so so think of that uh, um, on 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 the effect that had where the intention of the of the bad guys was just to get paid yeah okay they did not really intend to shut down the pipelines these are ransomware guys you know a criminal group they wanted to get, get hold and creep one of you know one of the the uh, uh systems that that colonial pipeline has and Tell them, okay, pay us $5 million, $10 million or something, and move on to the next victim. Now, change that group from a financial criminal group to a terror group, to an organized terror group that targets all of the pipelines in a country. Yeah. Or half of the pipelines, half of the water systems, you know, half of the power grid. Coordinated attack that is intended to shut down those systems. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like you say, it is and, and us as people, we need to we need to act on that, right? And if we don't, it's it's only going to get worse, which yeah. isn't uh, which isn't great. Yeah. You you yeah. mentioned um sorry, go on. No, I'm I'm, I'm just saying you know it's 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 frightening and it's real you know it's it's a real threat yeah uh, but but we do see the market now better understanding not not the whole market not everywhere not all of the verticals not in all geographies but we do see a trend as i said the market is growing and becoming a a demanding market and not a market that we are trying to sell to that we are pushing our products to um i would be happy uh i would be happier if it would be faster a it's good for us but yeah. b it's also good good for 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 the national security and and resilience of of the countries that we are selling to um but with regulations coming in with customers better understanding the risk with like a critical mass of the customer elevating their security level and and in a way um, elevating the bar and making the others say, okay, I can't be, you know, I can't be the weakest link. So so let's let's up our game too. It's it's a process that's happening. It's happening now faster than before. Brilliant. And and you mentioned as soon as we kind of began this chat that Waterfallers has a new solution. How has that solution come in and added value to your current setup? And, and what do you foresee in the future, how it will only improve you as a business? Yeah. Um, so Waterfall's flagship flagship technology and, and product is called the Unidirectional Gateway. It's, mm-hmm. it's a uh, combination of uh, uh, special built hardware and software that enables data to be gathers, gathered, sent out, and pushed to the various recipients out of control networks. <clears throat> excuse me, with zero risk. Okay, the the, the specialized hardware prevents a- anything from getting back in. So, with with our systems, you can share information from your control network to the outside world. Share information, allow remote monitoring, uh, uh, provide data for the business to be able to to to, to run the business. Uh, efficiently and profitably uh, based on on current data 
without any risk of anything getting back in. So th- this, at the beginning, when the market was still new, and, and you know, today too, this was one of the biggest threats in the market. Uh, I, I want data from my control network, that network that controls a turbine. I want data from it, but today we also understand I don't want it to be accessible from the internet. So we that's the problem we solved at the get-go of waterfall security. Okay, share information out of a control network without opening it up to an external network, to the internet, to all of the uh, um, threats that are out there. Um, built the whole company based on that solution. Yeah. Um, excuse me. The, with the market evolving, with new technologies getting in, with a wider uh, uh, number of, of types of customers that are uh, uh, using new technologies in control networks, there became a new, a new need, a very big, uh, 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 you know, threat and need, uh, which is uh, remote access. Like for for an example, things that were irrelevant, you know, ten years ago, yeah, but are very big now. Uh, and this is just an example. So t- take a re- renewable energy company. Okay, these guys they don't have, you know. 20 big power plants. They have a hundred small wind farms. And th- these wind farms are unattended. I mean, you have systems there, you have the, the, the turbines, you have the control networks that control the field and, and controls the 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 um, uh the the the, the wind um, I forgot the name. <laughs> Excuse me. That's okay. Um, <laughs> and no. You know, you you can't send people all day long to work on on the systems. It just doesn't work like that. It, it's mm-hmm. it, it's an irre- in, it, it's an irrelevant solution. On the other hand, disconnecting it, I, I mean, connecting it to the internet so you can remotely control it, opens it up to all of the bad things that we don't want it to be open to. So that type of of need, which was non-existing or very small a few years ago, now is big. Yeah, because of renewable energy. And by the way, it's the same for 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 uh, um, you know uh, uh, solar farms as as wind farms. It's it's the same for <laughs> today also for you know really long pipelines and and companies with with a lot of um <clears throat> oil fields all these mostly today unattended systems that are controlling physical processes you want them off the grid you do not want you 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 don't want to have people get in and out sometimes through helicopters you know these are places that that are unreachable in 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 some cases so remote access for ot is critical Existing remote access solutions that are really good for for IT environments don't solve the need for OT. They don't provide the adequate level of security and safety uh, um, for the control networks. Waterfall, with its based on our existing technologies, based on our existing capabilities and experience in the market, and and deep understanding of of such a wide number of of customers and verticals we invented and developed and are now starting to sell a new technology called Hera. Yeah. Hardware enforced remote access uh, that provides a full-blown remote access solution specially built for OT, allowing remote access without network connectivity into the control network. Um, you know, I would uh, uh, l- love to chat like five hours more about that, but I'm sure this <laughs> is not the right venue. Um, but Maybe next any, week. <laughs> any, any of your uh, audience that wants to learn more, just reach out and we'll be happy to provide you with uh, with material, with face-to-face meetings, with demos, whatever, whatever is needed. We are uh, Brilliant. excited excited about uh, about the new solution. 
and you know we've launched it two weeks ago i think and we're getting huge feedback from the market i mean people are just calling in asking for more data asking for more information and so i think we i think we hit the mark here too amazing brilliant and look OT is is becoming a, a crowded space in terms of new vendors all the time, and I don't expect you to to release me your your five year business plan at Waterfall, for example. But you, you mentioned a new solution there. How how else are you going to be staying ahead of this this trend or this curve of of new vendors coming up uh, in the OT space? Look, uh, when in the desert, every drop of water is good. So <laughs> we are happy. <laughs> We are happy to have uh, um, other companies to to uh, water the desert at this stage. Okay, e- every company that's focused on OT helps us build the market, and with a lot of them, we are partners or yeah. j- just just even just friendly relationships. You know, yeah. um, and uh, I think that. Until th- th- there's there's enough potential uh, uh, for us to do that and act in this way for the next you know the few years for sure yeah until it's it's really crowded and until the market is even remotely saturated by by solutions used at customers. Brilliant, cool, mm-hmm. and. To wrap this up, and I think, like you say, well, we've established there's such a big threat, and and as you mentioned, it is improving. Yeah. When upon leaving this, and, and and for the individuals watching this out there, what one piece of advice would, would you give as a key takeaway from this today? Uh, I would say, uh, you know, you 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 have a network that controls a physical process, you need to understand the risk, okay? You do not have a backup to that asset, okay? Uh, You have a control network controlling uh, a a railway system. If that doesn't work, the railway system doesn't work, okay? So with, with regular networks, IT networks, enterprise networks, in most cases, good backup system and have a backup system okay yeah a good backup system that that really backs up everything and you you make sure that it does and and you you check that the backups can be restored if, you know yeah do, do do everything that you need to do that's good enough for worst case scenarios in ot with physical processes we don't have that luxury so waterfall Waterfalls type of solutions, the way that we see the world, the way that we treat our uh, 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 customers is is you know the right way, and those customers that that follow those guidelines are usually really successful and and can survive attacks in a way that doesn't require them to shut down their systems. Brilliant. Cool. And the, the last thing is, this is a long play. These customers are not the fastest moving customers in the world. So if you want to get to this market, respect that. Brilliant. Cool. That's that's amazingly summed up. Look, that was uh, that was brilliant. Thank you very much for, for joining, Lior. And uh, great, great to chat. Thank you, Ben. Uh, it was a pleasure. And, uh, you know, until next time. Maybe catch you next week in Vegas. Maybe catch, maybe catch up in in Black Hat. Yes, perfect. <laughs>